Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena and I am the homeschooling mama to three kiddos and the wife to a wonderfully hardworking husband. Here on my channel we talk about homeschooling and homemaking and all the things in between. Today is going to be one of those in between videos where I talk about some helps that I'm looking at um, to just kind of help my mental health. I was on a little bit of a fitness and health journey and part of that journey is really understanding my mental health and um, doing all I can to kind of combat the anxiety that I will sometimes feel um, and just trying to be the healthiest version I can of me. So if that's something you like to watch, make sure you stay tuned. So I do want to give out a disclaimer that I am by no means a professional. Um, I, these are just things that I am trying out and doing and have found that help me mentally. I have lately been really struggling with anxiety and worry and um, just letting in, I think, the weight of the world onto my shoulders and trying to carry it on my own, which I know I should definitely not do. Um, but as some of you who may also who can maybe relate to having anxiety know that that's not always something you can control. <laughs> it's not, um, it's definitely not something I think that I would choose for myself. And so these are ways that I am finding help me to have a better perspective and a better outlook and just help me on the whole, um, be able to walk this journey and still be able to pour into my family in a healthy, happy, loving way. So here's just a couple of things that I've been doing that have been helping me. The first thing that I noticed that is a big help and that I don't always want to do is to dress daily. So being a stay at home mom, oftentimes there can be days if I plan our week accordingly where I don't have to leave the house at all. And those days for me are fantastic um, because I can tend to be more of a introvert and want to be at home and it is kind of my safe spot. I can be home for a number of days and feel okay. Now that is a fine line because I did know I do notice that if I'm home too many days in a row, it does start to affect me as well. So I really am trying to push myself um, to go out and do things and meet people. We are still um, fairly new. I we moved to a new area about a year ago, which I get seems like a long time, but in the midst of everything happening, everything was not quite open yet. Um, we do homeschool and we don't belong to any co-ops or anything like that. Um, so it, it was a little bit harder to meet new people. We are branching out a little bit more, um, but along with the anxiety is social anxiety. And I always have this fear of saying the wrong things or just feeling overwhelmed. Um, and so I, I do have to kind of push myself to be open to going out places and doing things, um, but it is something that I want to continue to work on. And one of those ways, like I said, is to dress daily. So even if we are not going anywhere, um, I find that if I get up and get dressed, I feel more productive and I feel better about myself. Now, because I am home most of the day, even if I'm getting up and getting fully dressed, I may have my slippers on, but that to me is a-okay because I'm in the house and we don't really wear our outside shoes inside. But getting getting up and getting dressed for the day does make a difference. I will, full disclosure, let you know that we still have PJ days. Pajama days in our homeschool are something we look forward to. And so I'm really trying to make sure that those are days we are looking forward to and not becoming every day um, for a little bit there. Our pajamas were almost our school uniforms. We were wearing them all the time. And so I'm <laughs> trying to pull back from that and um, just have special days again that are our pajama days. Another thing that I have found that is truly helpful to me is staying in the word. Um, I find that when I am in the Bible and I am reading his word or I am journaling um, and talking with God, I feel better. I find that I mentally feel a little bit clearer and I am better able, like I said, to have a clearer perspective on the world. I will be completely honest that I do not get into Bible reading every day. There are days that I just wake up late and um, those days I do have different things that I will do. I don't do the same thing every morning in my quiet time. 
I do try to get into the Bible every day, but like I said, sometimes it doesn't happen. But I try to do it more often than not. And then alongside with that is journaling. I find for me that writing down my thoughts onto paper is really helpful. I'm able to just kind of digest things a little better and put it down on paper and then leave it there. And even if that means I have to write about the same things multiple times, it is truly a help to me. So I've been trying to make um, a little bit more of a pattern or a routine of journaling and being in my Bible. I do have a video where I have um, created my Bible journal. I combine two journals basically into one. And so oftentimes that is where I will be in the mornings in a section of that. So I will link that video if you're interested in seeing it up in the cards and then down in the description below as well. Another thing that I have been doing is reading for fun. So oftentimes I was reading a lot of books that were great. They were helps, um, things that were nonfiction, um, things about homeschooling or homemaking, all the things that I want to learn. Um, but these were the only books that I was reading. And I decided instead that I was missing just kind of the love of reading for the sake of reading, if that makes sense. I am still reading some of these nonfiction books that are teaching us things. If you've seen any of our other videos or a few of our other videos, you'll know that we are kind of on this wannabe homesteading journey and we're trying to teach ourselves how to garden and how to, I'm trying to teach myself how to do more things in the kitchen like dehydrate. Um, canning is a new thing that I want to learn how to do. I'm excited but nervous. Um, but I'm getting off topic. <laughs> so reading for fun has been another thing that I have been enjoying doing. And so that's a lot of fiction books. Um, I do read a lot of YA. Lately, I have started reading um, some classics. I read Pride and Prejudice and found it hilarious. I didn't know that it was such a funny book. I also have started reading the Anne of Green Gables series. Um, so a lot of books just for fun that I can just kind of take a break um, and read and escape for a little while. So we are big library visitors and um, I will check out books from there as well. But as you can see, I also build up my shelves again um, with some, some books. And so that's what I've been doing a lot of too. Um, it's just taking like 15, 20 minutes out of the day and reading. And it has been great in our school as well because we can all take a reading break and sit down in the living room together or wherever we are in mom's room, in the kid's room, and just cuddle up and read for 15 to 20 minutes and just take a little bit of a quiet time break. Alongside with reading, I have started listening to audiobooks as well. I am just checking them out from our library right now. Our library does have like an online system where you can check out audiobooks. And so that's what I've been doing rather than having a subscription to um, like Audible or something like that. I've just been checking them out from the library and I find that as I'm listening to the book, I can listen to it um, when I'm going out for a walk or if I am working out even. Sometimes as I'm washing dishes or preparing dinner, um, I will listen to a little bit of my book. That has been a little bit of an escape for me too. Another thing is going outside. So as I said before, I can be home and feel safe and kind of just stay home um, and find myself struggling to kind of get out. And so that's something that I've been trying to push myself a little bit more to do, even if that means just getting outside um, into our front yard or backyard for 15, 20 minutes. Normally I find once I'm outside for about 15 minutes, um, especially when I have the kids out with me, um, we don't want to go back in. And so we'll hang out there for, you know, a while longer and just enjoy being outside. When it is sunny, we're soaking in that vitamin D and it is great. Right now it is just starting to get snow and so the kids have been enjoying playing in the snow and having this season and just bundling up, being outside, like I said, just soaking in the rays when we are having sunshine and when we're not just breathing in that fresh air helps so much. I would definitely encourage you because I know this is one that I personally struggle with. If it's something that you struggle with, start small, just go outside and maybe have like your cup of tea outside or if it's too warm for tea, have an iced tea or <laughs> have water, just step outside and say, I'm going to stay outside until I finish this cup. And then oftentimes, like I said, you'll find that you want to stay out even longer. And so that's been amazing and that's been truly helpful too. And then when I can, if um, my husband is home, he will watch the kiddos for me so that I can take like a brisk walk by myself. 
on times when I can't get a walk by myself, sometimes another little trick that I will do is just a quick declutter. I will find a small space, any space, there's always a space <laughs> that needs to be tidied up in my home, but I will find a small space and declutter it really quickly. So it gives me five, 10 minutes. If you have even longer, 15, you can even set the timer and have your kids declutter along with you. But I find that once I just do the task and declutter even just a countertop or a drawer, something, it has this sense of accomplishment and I just feel better. And it oftentimes leads to decluttering another area or tidying up another space or just going on and being productive with the rest of the day. And that feels really good. Um, I know a lot of times when it just felt over powering. Um, I, I just wanted to stay in bed or I didn't want to do very much. I wanted to do very, very little. So combating that is starting small with a small task, just doing um, a little bit at a time and then it will slowly, gradually lead to bigger things and um, it really, it does help. So it can seem kind of silly, but find a little space, declutter it, tidy it up, put it back in order and it'll feel a little better too. Another way is to kind of retrain my mind. So I have been trying to go over in my health journey and keeping a list of daily wins. Um, daily wins can be very simple things like I got up and got dressed today. I took a shower. It can be very simple things. I finished the dishes. <laughs> I did two loads of laundry and I folded and put them away. It can be whatever you want them to be. They don't, I would encourage you to look for small wins first. Sometimes I think, especially me, I can look at the day and be like, well, you didn't really even do anything fantastic. And really, you know, I kept my kiddos alive. We homeschooled. They were well fed. There's a lot of good and a lot of wins to be had in the day. So I want to train my mind to see these wins and to kind of um, reframe it to see how well our days are really going. I don't want to focus on um, kind of the doom and gloom. I would like to retrain my mind to see the good that is to be had in every day. So I'm keeping a little bit of list of daily wins and kind of going over those in my mind so that my mind can start to recognize these wins as opposed to the non wins, I guess, or the other. <laughs> and then lastly, I have been working on routines. So routines can feel comforting to me. Um, I know sometimes we gotta switch it up and that is a-okay. Um, but having a morning routine and an evening routine can also really help. I noticed that um, when my anxiety is very high, I don't sleep well at all and that affects so, so much. Um, having rest is becoming so clear to me that it is so needed and so helpful to us. Um, and so I actually started with a evening routine and kind of coming up and defining what what my evening routine what I wanted it to look like so I will be making a video and kind of walking you through what my evening routine is I do have a video up of me attempting to make an a.m. routine I will link that for you but I will also let you know that there are some tweaks that are going to be had with that routine as well but some of the things just being able to get up in the morning and know okay I'm going to sit and read my Bible or journal for a little bit before the kids wake up and then I'm going to have my cup of coffee or I'm going to have my coffee while I do this. It's something to look forward to. Then I get dressed and then here's what happens and it kind of just rolls into this routine where I get up and I do these things and soon I don't even have to think about it and I'm off and rolling with my day versus the days when I am like dragging to get out of bed. I don't even make my bed. It just feels like I'm always playing catch up. Um, and then for the evening to tuck myself away and just kind of wind down and focus on the good um, and my daily wins and that kind of thing to be able to rest my mind and my body um, to get some restful needed sleep. So those are things that I think are also helpful having a little bit of an AM routine and a PM routine. I will let you know, please don't try to do both at the same time, like create your routines at the same time. Start with one um, and then build up and do the other one. When I try to put too much on my plate and implement all these things at once, it becomes overwhelming. So start with one or two ideas and then you'll see that it'll get easier to add in a couple more at a time. That is if you want to try any. Comment down below and let me know if you have any ideas that you'd like to share or if you're going to try out any of these ideas for yourself. 
Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, maybe consider subscribing and joining.